Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to be comparing the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 360 against the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 420. And we're going to be doing the comparison using a Ryzen 9 7900X on the AM5 platform. As you can see right off the bat, the biggest differences between the two AIOs are the bigger radiator. Uh, it's got the three 140 millimeter fans along with the larger radiator compared to the 360, which is 100, three 120 millimeter fans with a slightly smaller radiator. On top of that, the fans, um, well, with the 140s being bigger, they're also a little bit slower. They come in at about 1700 RPM, where the 120s come in at around 2000 RPM. Aside from that, pretty much everything else is identical on the two AIOs. Now one of the main reasons why I'm doing this comparison is I do plan on downsizing my a computer case. I have the Corsair 7000D, it is quite large, and I want to open up my options of what I can use by going with a 360mm AIO because, because there's only so many cases out there that will fit a 420mm AIO. Now before we get into the actual performance results, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below. Now one of the things I'd like to preface before we get into it is that I do find the AM5 uh, platform harder to cool than AM4, so just keep that in mind when you're looking at the results. And I'm going to be comparing using Cinebench R23 and Hardware Info is 64 to measure uh, the results. And there's also two data points on uh, Hardware Info, Info 64 that I'm gonna be using. One is CPU, and then there's also another uh, line on there that is CCD1. There are two chiplets on the 7900X. There's two six core chiplets, and CCD1 is a hotspot on all the sensors, so I'm going to measure that as well just to see if there if um, there's a difference uh, in bringing down the temperature of that hotspot. And I'll also be testing it at 100% fan speed uh, with all cores engaged, 70% fan speed just for reduced noise level, and using 70% is just consistent across the board uh, instead of trying to tweak into that uh, decibel range. And I'm also going to disable one of the uh, chiplets on there to kind of simulate what you'd expect while gaming. So only CCD1 will be engaged for part of the testing as well. And measuring it again through Hardware Info 64 at 100% um, utilization, it pulls around 212 watts. And then at uh, just the one chiplet, so six cores being utilized, it pulls around 137 watts. So just additional information to keep in mind uh, at the temperatures and the amount of watts it's trying to cool. So starting off for noise level, the 420 with the bigger fans comes in slightly louder at 46 decibels, whereas the 360 comes in at 44 decibels, so not too big of a difference there. Uh, all cores 100% fan speed. The 360 on CPU line comes in at 87.4 degrees Celsius, whereas the 420 comes in 84.6. So there is a 2.8 degree drop in temperature using the 420. And then on the hotspot, which is CCD1, the 360 comes in at 88.1 and the 420 comes in at 85.4. So there's a 2.7 degree drop there using the 420. Then turning the fan speed down to 70%, it's the fan speed and the pump, both of them are being turned down to 70%. The 360 comes in at 88.4 degrees and 420 comes in at 85.1. So there's a 3.3 uh, degree difference there with the wind going to the 420. And then on the hot spot, uh, the 360 has it at 89.9 and the 420 has it at 86.2. With a, which is a 3.7 degree drop. So again, the 420 uh, uh, does a better job there. Then I go in in the BIOS and I turned off one of the cores. So only CCD1 is being utilized. So that's six cores, 12 threads. The 360 with 100% fan speed came in at 82.9, whereas the 420 came in at 80.5. So that's a 2.4 degree difference. 
and on the hot spot the 360 came in at 84 degrees and the 420 came in at 82 degrees so there's a two degree difference there then again turning the fan speed down to 70 percent and the pump speed down to 70 percent the 360 comes in at 83 degrees and the 420 comes in at 81.1 for a difference of 1.9 degrees and then at the hot spot the 360 comes in at 85.4 and the hot spot comes in at 83.1 for a 2 to 0.3 degree uh, drop there so as you can see across the board the 420 millimeter fan uh, beats the 360 millimeter fan between about 2 to 2 and 4 degrees so both are fairly comparable as far as performance go uh, the 420 especially at um, the, the higher wattage pole, so the high, hotter temperatures, does a little bit better of a job at cooling than the 360. But overall, in my view, that's not enough to, uh, to not go with the 360. So I'm still gonna go ahead and use the 360. I will um, downsize my, my case and go with this. I don't expect the performance to be um, uh, to hinder anything that much because for the most part I do mostly gaming on that system um, and then some video editing so it's really not going to be engaging the CPU as much. Anyway thanks for watching the video and have a good one.